This video is brought to you in part by Zeal Sound and viewers like you. Thank you. Yo, Speedy, clip this one. All right, y'all, what is the word? What is the word? What is the word? Speedy is in the building back with another episode of Internet Wars. You see, we is outside and we back with some more sports controversy. You know what I'm saying? The other day, if y'all didn't see the game, uh, Draymond wound up doing usual Draymond things. You know what I'm saying? And not only did Twitter react to it, but he also responded to it. So here go the here go the foul right here. Some grab Zach Eady's leg. Look how he's, he's holding his leg with his arm. Yeah. He could have sprained his ankle also. That's just typical typical Draymond Green. It's it's sad that a professional league is known to have players like this, even though it's really only one player. I'm like, you had Zaza Pachulia once upon a time. You know what I'm saying? The Warriors need somebody like that. You need a enforcer. In sports for some odd reason so that you know you can have rookies be in their place so that you can hurt their ego instead of being able to stop them or whatever i'm saying but um <clears throat> this is what draymond green actually had to say you got janky taylor jenkins uh -oh. who's a softy bro this game 11 you run into the media crying about a foul that come on bro so guess what you just taught your 7-3 rookie how to be emotional and run to the media talking about a foul we big <laughs> we big man you don't run to the in, in, in today's game i think everything has to go to the media because it's just more professional you know what i'm saying instead of being a, a thug on the court and fighting it out it's better to go to the media and speak it out in a political way the media talking about a foul you a big man he's supposed to protect john Morant. you right. send him up to where john Morant gonna be to protect him he's big enough to possibly have fooled people that he could be a little tough and now nobody believe you now joel and b gonna like try to put his chest into the stanchion just to see like huh yeah. i think he might be a little soft Ooh. yeah they gonna try now everybody gonna, gonna try, try. y'all gotta stop breathing these soft dudes man oh man Hard fouls do not make good basketball. I'm trying to tell you. You're intentionally taken away from the game. Dude is a 7-3 rookie, and this is how you talking about it. All right, cool. I get it. I understand it. But at the same time, it's not that type of game no more. Did you did you not just see the Celtics last however many games? They literally live and die by the three where every other team does. And I mean, like, Draymond, the, the way that your team even plays, you, you've never had to do that. Except for the fact that your team just has no defense and you was the only person that was injuring good scorers on an opponent's team. So, I mean, like, I mean, that, that, that's just my feeling on it. I'm saying probably the same way a lot of other people feel. But the fact that he tries to, like, cause a lot of discourse and try to downplay, you know, everything that he does is part of the reason why I'm not a fan of basketball. Because this is the stuff I'm like, look at it. <laughs> we, we We talking about it right now. I'm not going to talk about nothing else. When it comes to sports, you're not going to see me talk about sports for it because it's, it's hard to appreciate the game. And this is the reason why, because there's so much bullshit surrounding it. So I'd rather talk about the BS and let y'all know why I don't support whatever it is. NBA ratings is going down all kinds of stuff. It's because this is what's being publicized. If this is going to be what's pushed to the forefront, which isn't basketball, then why would there even be basketball media? Think about it. Stop making these guys turn out to be snitches and soft and go out of town <laughs> because you are a big man. But anyways, let's actually look into the comments of this and then we're going to look in the comments of the foul. I would love for him to try and prove either soft, either hasn't backed down from anyone this year. There's no way Draymond wants that smoke. He got small man syndrome. He's not really a big man. He's still trying to convince himself that he's a big man at 6'8 or 6'7 or 6'6. Being physical and dead ass grabbing the dude's ankle trying to hurt him is just simply not the same shit. See? Draymond's trash ass need to retire and be LeBron's bodyguard or something. He wants Ide to do something that will end up getting Ide suspended. See, look, he's a rookie. This is what he's trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Need, uh, Draymond need to worry about whatever grown on his forehead. <laughs> crazy. This way in a match, that thing is crazy. Let's actually go to the uh, the foul within itself. You know what I'm saying? And this not in a. The, the most popular uh posts these are just you know random comments like stuff you're just going to see if you log on to twitter this is what you're going to see just search draymond green and it's crazy because it's a few days later and i guarantee you this is still going to be one of most one of the most talked about things in the league you know what i'm saying and uh personally i feel like stuff like this actually needs to be documented especially when it's a repeat offender 
the elite 80s 90s de defense right if i were a role player who didn't really impact the game i would have knocked out draymond for the bullshit and see look isn't that what draymond's job is though he's really a role player who doesn't necessarily impact the game but what he does to the opponents to the opposing team yeah he can he can definitely impact i mean like if that's the case zaza pachulia had impact you know what i'm saying like there's so many i mean someone need to knock his punk ass out but you mean we gotta stay professional you know what i'm saying someone needs to give him some good old-fashioned early retirement is it really a point final two minutes to spend 41 games then you won't really see that you don't need them one of the many reasons i hate the nba and can't watch it besides clips see agreed sick of this clown he is who he is get his dirty cheap shot overrated yeah crazy so yeah that's gonna be that on that as far as the whole draymond green controversy you know what i'm saying how y'all feel about it do y'all feel as though uh draymond need to be doing something with his life do y'all feel as though uh, he should be suspended. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all feel as though the NBA is even going to do anything about him? I mean, like, he got gray hairs now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, clearly he's an angry old man. I mean, I don't know, man. That's just my opinion. Somebody that doesn't even watch.